Hello, welcome back to, uh, I don't know, a thing, a uh, real quick thing. I wanted to show you something that I was super excited to, to get working. Uh, that is, we we're finally able to parse the Fibonacci example code, example Ruby script uh, that comes with Natalie. And this is a um, very, very simple script, obviously. It's only a few lines of code and uh, it now produces this AST. Uh, and getting this far, oh, I don't know if you've watched any of the previous videos, uh, 11 or 12 videos of me writing this parser, but this is super, super satisfying that it actually produces this AST and this exactly matches the AST produced by the Ruby parser gem that we're trying to replace. So we're slowly chipping away at uh, at our parser and getting it to uh getting it to to work anyway um so that that was one thing i wanted to show you but i also wanted to show you how fast it is so uh let's see one way i could test this is if i let's just make sure everything is, is built then natalie um Let's do this. Let's say fib equals file.read examples fib.rb. And then we can do print parser.parse fib. And that will print the AST, right? Yes. Okay. But what if I put this in, well, if I just do 10 times, it'll print it 10 times. Just make sure that we're not doing anything funny. Okay. So I don't actually want to print it because I don't care about that. But what if I do a thousand times, parse it a thousand times and run this through time to see how long it takes. And it took 1.8 seconds. Now let's do the same thing with Ruby, with the Ruby gem. I uh, need to do require Ruby parser, uh, Ruby parser dot new dot parse a little bit eight different API. Uh, let's see how long that takes. Ooh, two seconds, 2.2 .2 seconds. And just to make sure that's not any uh, file system cache junk going on, uh, let's go back to the Natalie version. And it com it's compiling Ruby into C++, running it through GCC, and running it, and it's taking one, uh, 1 1.8 seconds. So, ooh, very cool. Now, what if we what if we actually compile this to a file we'll just call it parse uh and we'll run time on that see 1.7 seconds of that was just the compilation uh our compiler is not blazing fast yet but if i run time on just the the compiled binary it's point oh it's like less than a tenth of a second most of the time um it's really more pronounced if i do it uh let's do it ten thousand times and let's run that 0.7 seconds to parse that file 10,000 times. And that's compared to the Ruby uh, one, which is 10,000 times here. Oh, it's taking a while. Oh, is it gonna finish? Oh my, my computer's heating up. <laughs> 17 seconds oh my so i am so happy now uh caveat uh our parser doesn't do nearly as much as this ruby parser gem uh it's maybe comparing apples to oranges because we're compiling to c plus plus and compiling to a, a really fast binary we're not um our parser is not written in Ruby, so there's a lot less overhead. We're writing the parser in C++. Anyway, anyway, the, the end result is going to be spectacular. And even if our even if our time goes up a little bit, let's say it doubles. I mean, we're still way ahead of what we're trying to replace. And for that, I am super happy. And I guess that's it. So our parser now can parse this file here. But anyway, thanks for hanging out for this real quick update video. And uh, thanks for the encouragement as always. I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye.